It's Sozzy Suffer here at your sim. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to adjust your settings for performance. Now, I'm going to show you my performance before I've adjusted it, and I'm going to show you what settings to adjust to increase your performance. I'll do a before and after for you. So at the moment, I've got everything on high. I did it did set to custom just because I turned off motion blur and uh, depth of field, which I don't like having. So they don't impact FPS. So. I'm going to load up a flight, coming out of Luton, routing to Amsterdam. We're going to take off and I'm going to show you the performance before and then after. We made the changes. I've got the FPS counter up here. We can see inside the flight deck we've got 43, 43, 44 on average. As we go outside we're getting around 39, 40 on average. So. have a look I'm using all the default scenery anyway at Luton Airport so let's go and take off and we'll compare this to changing the settings afterwards so let's do our take off Okay, positive rate gear up, pitch to 15 degrees. Keep an eye on the frame rate counter as we move outside. Let's do a man flex. Let's put the autopilot on. Liver climb and flaps up. So inside is shooting up to 50 as we're getting higher, and outside it's still getting around 40. We've got live weather on at the moment. Okay, so now let's go and change our settings, and I'm going to show you which settings to to change exactly which give you the, m the most difference in performance so the most performance increase and then we're going to go and do this flight again okay so I want to show you what settings we can change to increase performance so we'll go down the first thing that will give you the biggest impact of performance is terrain level of detail so we'll, I want to keep that at a uh, hundred just because anything less is gonna not look as good <laughs> Um, but if you lower that, that is the biggest thing that, that will impact performance. Next, the uh, biggest impact of performance is actually trees. Trees down to medium. Plants I want to have down to medium. Rocks I'll keep high because they don't really matter. Um, they, it won't really impact performance. Grass, do I put it on high? You know what? Grass can impact it a, a little bit, but... I'm not that bothered about looking at the grass. I'm spending most of my time in the air, so I'll put that down to medium. We'll keep the texture resolution. If we've got eight gigabytes of VRAM, we'll keep the texture resolution at that. We'll need to have more than eight gigabytes of VRAM to put it to ultra. Now, when it comes to volumetric clouds, I want to keep that as high. Anisotropic filtering, can keep that at times eight and times four. Water waves I want to set to medium. Ray trace shadows completely turn that off. Actually, that is that one setting that will really impact your performance. So if you don't care about ray trace shadows, turn that off. Shadow maps, keep it the same. Terrain shadows, keep it the same. Contact shadows high, windshield effects. I know this is broken. It actually goes to medium. Ambient occlusion, I'll keep that to medium. It can impact uh, frame rate. Terrain shadows can also impact the frame rate, but I want to leave it at this number because anything more will impact it after that. Cube map reflections I'll keep the same. Brain marched reflections. Oh, I reckon I want to keep it on medium because 
don't really I can't really notice the difference between medium and high so if I can get a little bit of a performance I'll take it now light shafts keep it on high depth of field I turn that off because I don't like the way it looks glass cockpit refresh rate that's one that will impact performance I'll keep it on medium high it's, it shows our info traveling on the glass cockpit screen a little bit quicker but impacts a little bit of performance character quality is there a way to return this off no keep it high traffic airport quality high but I want to keep it at medium because we'll save a little bit of resources there air traffic I'll turn that off road traffic put it on low that's gonna save us a lot sea traffic not really bothered for boats I'll keep that off for now we'll leave on high now when it comes to DLSS I'm gonna put that on quality if you've got a RTX series card and now we'll save this and go and do our flight and we'll see how much we've changed the performance keep your eye on the frame rate okay okay so i'm back in the sim now i want you to notice the fps counter is in the green now we're in 62 so it, that's from inside the flight deck from outside we've gone up like 10 frames a second we're in 52 53 okay so we have noticed a big difference in frames and that will make all the difference when you're flying in airliners such as the Airbus. Right, so the, even scrolling left and right, it, it's a lot smoother. So we'll go and have our takeoff run and we'll show you the frames. P1, rotate. Does it right gear up? 15 degrees. Initial climb 4,000 feet. We're a little bit pitched up too high. So after we take off, we'll look back and look. 10 frames a second more. SP flaps up. Autopilot on. Still have live weather, it's about five minutes apart, not even that. So there weren't that many clouds in the, in the first place to make a difference in the frame rate. So it is our settings that have made a difference. Lever climb. Let me look at that. So there you have it, seeing is believing. Now if you look at the um, GPU usage, we've got less VRAM being used and the well, same amount of system memory, I think a little bit less. But we're hitting more of a stable frame rate and frame time. So we're getting uh, a lot less stuttering and it's a lot more smoother when we're looking around inside and outside the aircraft. And that's with me recording. If I wasn't recording, this would be solid green, okay? Okay, so if you liked the video, like and subscribe. Let me know if you found my settings helpful for you below. And um, if not, if there's anything you found out that could be helpful to anyone else, let them know in the comments below. I will do another VR settings for you also. And that will be in another video in the future to come. So see ya!